Hello, hello, this is Datatan from VP Universe and we are in this video series uh, tutorials for DMD colorization using colorizing DMD and the new serum format. So in this video, I will be covering the color management. Um, I will talk about the palettes and the sets. So uh, I will hide that and we'll just show, show it to you just uh, a little later as a reminder. So uh, in the previous video, we were just having a look about the tools uh, that were used to do some colorization. And uh, now it's, uh, it's time to uh, talk about the colors. So um, in colorizing DMD, so when you are not in the mask, but in the colorization mode here, you will have different ways to uh, adjust the color. Um, first thing to understand is that each single frame has its own palette. So for those who are used to, uh, to use another editor, it's not the case here uh, where palettes are shared. It's not the case here. Each single frame has its own palette. Uh, of course, there are tools to replicate that, and I will explain that to you. But but it is something to uh, to, to to understand. So on the one uh, frame, I can have up to 64 uh, colors that are uh, used in the in the frame. So as you can see here in the in the screen below, I'm using only just a few of them, and I can. Uh, very rapidly have a look about what are the color used uh, because they are the one that are not with uh, uh, the line here in between so I see that I'm using the three here the three there a uh, little of green and the black one and that's it for all the other one I'm not using them so depending on the needs of course of your colorization and also of uh, what you would like to show for example if I go to this one that is showing some score uh, you will see so red yellow green and, and a bit of white so yes even if the project is in 64 color i'm far from using all the 64 colors uh, and i'm not sure that in scared there is any um, any frame that is using the 64 color maybe we can go to one that would use most of them or at least the most of the projects it will be i think boogeyman yeah this one with a nice uh, Color rotation, and we'll show that. I will. Uh, I will explain that on a, on another video how to do it. But uh, for this one, yes, here I'm using quite a bunch of the colors. Uh, as you can see, that a lot of them are, doesn't have the line there. But let's say something like 20, uh, 20 colors. So. Uh, how do you do, how do you design that, and how do you use that? So let's go to this screen, as the other one will be just flashing, uh, and it's not, it won't be very convenient to use. Um, so when I'm clicking on a color here, oh yeah, sorry, so something else that I mentioned for Sketch Teeth, it is a room that is based on a four layers, meaning four colors. So if I, if I have a look at the, um, at the row, uh, and I will just remove the mask for you to see. So there is four levels of yellow, of uh, orange here. So you've got the brighter one, you've got another one that is in between, a dark orange, and then you've got black. So there are four colors for this uh, for this room, and it is the case for um, a lot of uh, uh, Gottlieb Williams' uh, uh, room, uh, Sam room. Uh, if you are uh, to do a colorization on the stern uh, pinball machine that are more modern, uh, you will see here up to 16, one, six, 16 colors, which are default. Um, so you can specify all the 16 colors and you will see them. So in Scarthief, again, four colors. And uh, there is, again, from bright yellow to dark, uh, from dark, uh, bright orange to dark orange. So this is what I'm seeing here. Uh, so I can, let's say, for example, use yellow, dark yellow, uh, darker yellow, let's say, and, and black. And this will be the same four level of, um, of uh, color that I will have. And if I paint it, I like to paint this part, for example. Nope. Wrong example. Okay, sorry. Just removing anything. So for you to see, 
Okay, so it is, it is the raw material. If I'm using here, color replace set, and I will have all the four layers of colors that will be replicated here on the, uh, on the drawing. If I was to select the orange as the original, as the original uh, row frame, you will see that it is exactly how it looks like. So as you can see, for each of the four levels of the um, of the of the set that is here, I am choosing manually the color. And of course, I can swap between, and I can just change it the way I like, and I could display it this way. Not very beautiful, but still, it's a possibility that you have. So replace each layer of color by another one. So this is what I'm doing now to select the colors and using the color set replace mode that will be replacing each layer by the new corresponding color. If I am using the monochrome draw, it will draw everything with the, uh, the, the, the color I've selected here. So for example, it will be green, then it could be red, it could be yellow. So no matter what was the layer of color on the raw frame, it will just colorize on the top of it. If I use again the color replace mode, it will reuse the, uh, the original frame um, color set to just swap and replace with uh, all the corresponding colors. I hope it's clear. It's not so easy to uh, to to explain uh, with words, let's say, but it's really uh, really um, uh, easy to understand when you when you experiment it. So of course, I will always uh, invite you in trying experimenting your way. It will be a lot easier for you to understand. Um, so now let's. Uh, so I've seen uh, how to select the colors, but how do you do I initiate the colors? So to initiate the colors in the palette. I will be right clicking with the mouse on the position that I want to initialize. So let's say I take this position and I want it to put in blue. So you can hear until the RVB, uh, RGB sorry, um, uh, color code uh, if you want to, or you can just uh, select a color in the uh, 64 bits color in the RGB uh, color range, sorry. So you, you can use the one that you want. So let's say I take a blue here. So now there is blue in the palette. And here I will want to use, let's say, um, yeah, uh, dark green. Okay, so now I've got here blue that I can select. Here I can select dark green, for example. And I can, again, colorize the way I like either with monochrome, either with color set replace mode. Some features that we have also in the, um, in the software is to easily make some gradients of color between two colors. So if I hit the shift button of my uh, com uh, keyboard, and I just remind you that you can hear quickly follow about what I'm doing, what are the keys and the, um, the mouse button that I'm using. So I hit shift. And while keeping shift, I'm using the left button of the mouse just to drag and drop between two colors, and it will create instantly a gradient of color between the two of them. It could be exactly the same, whatever the position. Just have to be continuous. Uh, I, cannot, uh, I cannot have something here uh, with the other one without the ones in between. Uh, again, when you're experimenting that, it's really straightforward for you to understand. So when I'm here, Shift is to create the gradient. Then we can use the control keyboard, the control key, uh, control button, sorry, of the keyboard. And this time it will be to initiate the gradient tool here, the gradient of color. So if I'm using control between these two positions, then the gradient tool here will be initialized with the uh, gradient I've just selected here. So I'm doing another one here between the black and the green going to red, for example, and you will see the same colors here in the gradient tools. So 
I'm not showing right now how to use the gradient tool. You will try to use it and it won't work. You don't know exactly. We will cover that in another video. For now, it's important for you to understand the palette. So left to create a gradient, control to initiate and to initialize the gradient tool. And there is an, a third button that is used, which is the Alt button. So Alt button is to switch position two positions uh, in the palette. So for any reason, and you will see that uh, when you will be working on your project, you might need to, if you want to create new gradients of color, for example, you want to swap the position without changing the color in the, um, in the, uh, in the frame. So you can easily swap using the Alt button. Alt, I click the first one, I click the second one, and then they will switch position. So really easy. And let me just write that down for you. So shift to create a gradient, control to initiate the gradient tool, and alt to switch position. So we've covered now how to create a palette uh, for, um, for one frame. So I'm happy with the palette now that I've created. Uh, I've got a nice gradient of color here. I've got some, uh, let's say, uh, basic gradient that I've created because it was useful. Let me show you a four color gradient. So I'm going to blue. I'm going from black and again left button, uh, shift button and left button. And here I've got a gradient of blue. Let's say I want to use this one and I know that in my frame it is something that I will re reuse very often and perhaps it's a palette that we will want to replicate in my project and I will use it very often. So I can uh, register, I can record this, uh, this set of color in sets. So I click on sets here. I will, uh, let's say, initialize it here. So I click set here and it will initialize with the color. The active set here will be uh, chosen. So put here, I can here say, okay, blue set, for example. Uh, I can do the same with another one. Let's do it again with the reds, a bit quicker. Sets, I'm using the first one, red set. And that's it. Now I've got sets that are used and to reuse them, I just need to click on the color and when clicking on the color, it will just um, uh, select the new s the set that you've just, uh, you've just uh, entered. So now uh, I'm happy with the palettes. I'm happy with the sets that have been uh, initializing now and I will want to replicate the palette on other frames because Let's see, for example, for this one, uh, I have several frames that will be using exactly the same frame because the same colors. So I will want to reuse the palette. So how do I do that? Uh, I will have to select several frames. So to select the frames, it's like when you are in a Windows Explorer and you want to select multiple files, I will use the Shift button or the Control button. So Shift button, I will select all frames between the two ones I'm clicking. First one, and I click shift plus the second one and I will choose all the frames in between or I can hit the control button. So first one, control button, and it will take only the two of them. All selected frames, you can see them. It is a blue rectang rectangle here instead of a red one. So very convenient to, to see what it's like, what it looks like. So now I've got these three frames selected. Uh, no, <laughs> now I've got the three frames selected. So I see the three here are, are with a rectangle. And this one is the active frame. It's the one that is also displayed here. And this is the one that I want to replicate the uh, palette from. Uh, you remember, this is this one that I, uh, that I was modifying. So now that I'm happy with the selection, I want to replicate this palette on this and this frame, so the selected ones. I will click this button and it will instantly replicate the palette to everywhere. So if I go now to this, uh, to this frame, sorry, I will see that, yes, I've got the same palette. The one just uh, here is the original one that doesn't have all the gradients and so on. The same for this one. It's been initialized with the palettes that I was uh, re replicating. Not only the palette, sorry, but also the sets. Everything is, is copied. So this button is, is copying and replicating the, f the full palette and the full set. There is another button just here, and this one is to replicate only the selected sets. So if I, I'm going here, for example, I've got here some uh, um, 
green, sorry, that is uh, that is selected. Green that are the four uh, the four colors here in the in the palette for once. Let's say that I would like to change the uh, the green with the new brand new nice colors that I've been here uh, selecting the blue ones. I will want to replicate this set of color. So again, I'm clicking on the first one, the second one. The two of them are selected, and I will hit this time this button, and this button will replicate the set to the other uh, frame. So here now I've got a nice new set of blue, and then I can easily use it to replace up oh, sorry here to replace the green color well not exactly <laughs> as this was in uh, dynamic colors and it's a, a next topic that I will be covering in the video how to use the dynamic colors so as a reminder here I've got the palette I can click Shift, Control, or Alt to alter the palette with the different modes. If I want to replicate the palette to the other frames, I need to select all the frames that I want to replicate the palette to, and I will hit either this button to replicate the palette and all the sets, or just this button to add a new set to uh, the frames that are selected. So that's it for now for this video and on the next one we'll be talking a bit more about dynamic coloring and also fixed coloring.